close your eyes. Close them. You haven't closed them yet. Close them. <laughs> now imagine you are standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as far as you can see, to your right, left, right, front are angels. Angels, entire space is filled to your right, to your left, in front of you, behind you, above you. The entire space is filled with angels. Angels? Sending salams to you. Sending salams to you. You are standing before Allah and all these angels are filling the space between you and Allah. Where are you? What is the occasion? What is the day? You think you are in Jannah? <laughs> or the day of judgment? No! This can happen now. This is Laylatul Qadr. You standing in your prayer on Laylatul Qadr. Billions, billions of angels come down on earth just to say salams to the believers who are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the night of power, Laylatul Qadr. They just come and say salams and they go back. So new angels, more angels, because there's so many angels. They are, you know, the angels are eager to come and just say salams to the believers who are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that night. Why well, angels are going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seeking permission? Can we go and say salams to the believers? And they come down. There's so, there is no corner, no space, you know, where you are standing, where you are praying. They have filled up the entire space between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they're coming down and saying salams to you. How many are there? Let's see, how many pebbles are these? How about these? How about these? How many are in your suburb or your city or your country or the entire world? There are more angels on earth on the Laylatul Qadr than there are, entire on, there are pebbles on the earth. Than there are pebbles on the entire earth. There are more angels who come down on Laylatul Qadr than there are pebbles on earth. Incredible, isn't it? absolutely incredible not just that billions of angels come down but there is someone very special that we all know comes down with them you know who the greatest of angels the chief of the angels the leader of the angels the leader of the angels with over 700 wings the angel who used to come and visit the prophets ibrahim alayhi salam musa alayhi salam the angel who brought the message of allah the greatest book we have the al quran the book that guides us all came down on laylatul qadr the angel that used to visit our Prophet Muhammad who am I talking about angel Jibreel alayhi salam comes down on earth every year on the night of Laylatul Qadr would he come to your house will he come and say salams to you it can happen it can totally happen this year it might have already happened last year it can happen this year inshallah make dua to Allah do your best in worshipping Allah this night. Don't waste a single minute of it. What a pity it would be if when Angel Jibreel is coming, you are playing on your iPad. <laughs> what a pity that would be. In the next video, I'm going to tell you what Angel Jibreel salam, said about Ramadan and what a loser we could be. But that's coming next. There is more. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending down your destiny for this year to the angels so they can carry it out. What are the things that are, you are going to get this year? What will happen to you? What will not happen to you? What will you not get, get this year? And not just in terms of things, all your risks, for even risks that will take you to heaven. What will be the opportunities you will have to come closer to Allah, to earn your paradise? All that Allah is giving your destiny for this year, their commands, the things that angels have to do for you on the night of Qadr. What if you are standing or sitting in that day, that night, as Allah is sending down your decree and making dua to Allah 
to have mercy on me. Do you think you will be blessed a lot more? Do you think Allah will be even more merciful to you? Thousands of times more! A night that is better than a thousand months. What if somebody like, <laughs> are playing on their iPad or being rude to people, angry, mean that night? You are alhamdulillah blessed. There will be thousands of people all over the world who are just sleeping that night, who are watching TV all night, who have no idea even what they are missing out on. You know better. Many of your friends would have no idea because their parents didn't know any better. But alhamdulillah, you know how precious this night is. You should be making dua for yourself and them as well. And may Allah guide them to worship their best. Billions of people, well, millions of people all over the world, Muslims. There is no night of the year except for Laylatul Qadr, except for these last 10 nights of Ramadan, when maximum number of people are worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at their homes, in the masjid. Some people camp out all day and night at the masjid so they can do their best, not wasting even a second. Just concentrate on worshipping Allah. They spend the entire 10 days in the masjid. Man, some people reading the Quran, some people standing in prayer, some people reading some other books, some people doing dhikr, just you know, doing some tasbih, some people making dua all night. What will you be doing? I hope you won't waste a single minute of this precious night and send every minute like we talked about sending forward our good deeds send every minute of this night forward towards Jannah multiply it multiply it multiply it so it becomes eternity in Jannah for you inshallah brings you eternity of happiness this is a night of power powerful night that can fill you with power for your entire year for your entire life incredible blessings are coming down to earth on this night to you billions of angels sending salams to you this night can literally can literally change your life can change your destiny this one night don't waste a single second of this night Use this precious night to empower yourself. Be a greater person than you were before these 10 nights of Ramadan. And like we talked about in the Enter My Paradise class last week, life of this world is just about not much, right? And now if you look at it, like how we discussed in the class, if you look at Laylatul Qadr, which is just one night, if this is your entire life, how much is Laylatul Qadr? It's not even, you know, maybe just a tiny little bit of this. <laughs> like, like a tiny one, one millimeter even, not even one millimeter of this. And for that, if we work hard on this that night, what would we get in return? How many years of Jannah? How much reward in paradise? Or if we didn't worship Allah in that one millimeter, just one little part of that night, or we were you know, our actions were bad that night. What would we miss out on? How many years, how much reward of Jannah would we miss out on? More and more and more and more. Just keeps going for eternity, right? We will miss out on all of that just for that tiny little one night. How much could we be missing out on? So don't be a loser. <laughs> Do your best. Do your best in this. Catch it. Ev try your best every night of these 10 nights. And then you can 100% be sure, inshallah, that you got it. <laughs> that you got it. So give it your best. Don't waste it. Don't do anything bad. And undo all the good work you are doing. Do your best in these nights. And remember, as we talked about it in the class last week, nothing is stopping you. Nothing is stopping you from doing your best and actually achieving paradise this night. There's no evil king like the Surah Buruj and the people of the ditch. Nothing is stopping you. They are coming and stopping you from worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this night, from doing your best. No shaitan even. 
only one that might stop you is you yourself might stop yourself oh i would rather go to sleep <laughs> i would rather play my games and stop your own self from entering jannah from earning paradise from getting all the blessings you could get this year so don't stop yourself don't be the evil king of your own life right do the best you can these 10 nights tire yourself tires yourself literally tire yourself get tired worshiping allah subhanahu work so hard harder than you have ever worked for any exam anything in your life give it your best and what you will get back is so much don't better. forget to make dua for me <laughs> make dua for me too in these last 10 nights of ramadan don't forget that 